Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines, brought to you by PU Prime. Hello and welcome to Monday's Daily Financial Review. Here's what's making headlines in the markets today. Goldman Sachs adjusted its expectations for OPEC plus oil production, saying it now expects three months of production increases starting from December instead of October. OPEC Plus has agreed to delay a planned oil output increase for October and November. China's central bank held back on buying gold for its reserves for a fourth straight month in August. China's gold holdings stood at 72.8 million fine troy ounces at the end of last month. The value of the gold reserves, however, rose to $182.98 billion, compared with $176.64 billion at the end of July. China's foreign exchange reserves rose to the highest level in more than 8.5 years in August. The country's foreign exchange reserves, the world's largest, grew by $31.8 billion to $3.288 trillion last month, booking the second straight monthly expansion and hitting the highest since December 2015. The dollar-yen pair traded sideways in the last session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair gained 0.5% in the last session. According to the Stochastic RSI, we are in an oversold market. The Aussie dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an oversold market. The oil dollar pair plummeted 1.8% in the last session. The RSI indicates an oversold market. The US three-month bill auction will be released at 15.30 GMT. The US six-month bill auction at 15.30 GMT. The Dutch consumer spending volume at 4.30 GMT. Japan's EcoWatchers survey, Current, will be released at 5 GMT. Japan's EcoWatchers survey, Outlook, at 5 GMT. Japan's money supply, M2 plus CD, at 23.50 GMT. We hope you've enjoyed Monday's financial review. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.